All right, what's up guys? We're gonna do, uh, not maybe not a long video, but just quick. I was doing spring cleaning, found this guy, went to HSB, shot it a couple of times, got a feel for uh, feel for it. So we're gonna do a just a uh, you know a review on it. I bought this a long time ago actually from Boom Arms. There at the time I bought them, there wasn't the the other companies, the uh, APS one and I think the Zonac. Uh, the Zonac one is the cool one that you just got the trigger ring you can pull it and it's, it doesn't have a shell you put all the BBs in it and the other one is APS but um, those are really expensive those are both in the 60 plus range this one I bought was like 39 slash 40 dollars obviously it was a boom arm so you'd have to count for shipping but it's still cheaper than those two even with you know you could do expensive shipping it'd still be cheaper the only thing I got, I got to say about this, um, actually, first let's just go over what it comes with. Okay, it comes in this box. It comes in this wrapped up and this little thing this is. 134A or top gas. Uh, I'm using propane. And it comes with this uh, manual, which is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, nothing on the back, but. Now, if you own the PPS shotgun, then yeah, you can run this one. I uh, I don't really I don't know how many people are actually gonna own that gun. It's the it's a TM. It's well, it's not a TM clone because the sh the gas is in the shells, whereas the TM is in the actual stock in the gun itself. Yeah, it's okay. I guess it's just, it's kind of its own. It's like an APS shotgun, but it's not. The APS shotgun is, is, you know, more closer to a real steel shotgun with the shell. It's got the wad on it and that kind of stuff. But, anyways, simple. Okay, let's just go on, move on. I'll show you. And I know people are going to ask, does it work on the rails? It does. As long as you have a rail, you can get it on here. Okay. It's tight on the high kappa, and it might be, you know, on on this one. This is a TM frame. Uh, it's loose on here, but you know, it's no big deal How you lock it is pretty simple guys. It's you know It comes with a screw you put it through here Obviously you gotta line it up Okay, just like that And then you just screw it in I'm not gonna screw it in right now because we're gonna we're in my garage right now And I'm just I have a little miniature gallery that I was just shooting at before and we're just gonna shoot at to demonstrate for you guys how it shoots it only holds six okay another thing when you're when you're loading it guys make sure this valve right here is flush if it's not flush and if it's like in halfway or something like uh, like if it's sticking like right there or something when you put the gas in there it's just gonna it's gonna shoot out and if you if you I would definitely recommend you put gas in here first then load it up don't load it up and put the gas in here just in case this isn't you know it's fully reset or something that's I made the mistake of doing that <laughs> myself a lot of times I tell you guys I'm an idiot <laughs> it was uh, I just you know it's it, it was good that it happened here because I put the BBs in here and I loaded it and it wasn't flush and it just shot everything out um what else Oh, let's show, let's show you how it functions. Um, I already have experience with it at the HSB, uh, HSB, my home field. I don't like how it shoots. I, I wish it was a button, but I just I don't know if that's possible or maybe maybe, uh, maybe some kind of spring-loaded button. But let me zoom in for you guys right now. Okay. So you pull back in here, that releases it. That releases the, uh, so you can put the shell on here. It's pretty easy to put the shell on here. Just put it up here and locks it. Now, if you want to put safety on, that's the uh, the safety. It goes on both sides, all right? So you can't push it. Now, when you want to shoot it, you have to push forward on here. Uh, the reason why I don't like this this method, I wish it was just a button, but I like I like again guys, I've never I think there's there's not that many of these. I don't know if that's just possible, not possible, or have to be some kind of redesign or 
I, I don't know. The whole the, the reason why I want it to be a button is because if I'm playing and I'm shooting, I wish I could just reach out and push it. You can you can try pushing it with your fingers, but I'm gonna tell you guys it's pretty hard. Um, I would like to think that I'm you know I'm fat and out of shape, but I'm pretty strong, and damn, it's hard to really you know push it in there. So far, the easiest method I found so far, I, maybe this is what they designed it for, but I just it'd be nice because sometimes when I'm running, I run and gun, and I want to just you know shoot, 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 push the button, and just a quick you know a quick tap instead of having to you know try to push it. But so far, the easiest method is just you know having two hands, and this thumb pushes it. That seems to be the easiest and um, fastest. Uh, for me, that that that's really annoying. But anyways, we're gonna shoot it. Oh, one other thing. If you uh, if you're like you know picky about your frame getting damaged and stuff, uh, just a heads up. I damaged mine right off the bat. It's not. I don't really, I really don't care because these guns, you know, I use them. They get abused. They get tested. But that's just for you guys to think about. Uh, either a, you're just gonna have to, you know, put it on here, see what it is. You can, you know you know paint it cover it whatever you want but that's when I put the, the screw in here to lock it okay it was you have to line it up and that's just when I screwed it in it was it's really tight all right anyways behind me is a little shooting gallery well not a little shooting this okay it's a little but we're gonna shoot with these right here first we're only gonna shoot two times because it's it's pretty simple guys this only, it only holds six shots I will show you right now I, I wish it could hold more uh, if I could do it again I probably would have bought the APS one that's only because I own a bunch of the APS shells and those hold a lot more than six yeah all right see six these are 12s okay ignore the front you can see right here these are TSD 12s so we'll shoot the 12s first and then we're gonna shoot 20s second and that will be it for the uh, the video so uh, I can't think of anything else my biggest complaint is that it's not like a, I wish it was just a push button that was easy to push um, like I said you can use you know if you got uh, you know long fingers you can push it but it's you know, it requires a good amount of, I, I, I would say it requires a good amount of strength. Because, you you know, you got to release this valve right here. There's a little, you, can, you guys can see the firing pin in here. I hope you guys can see it. You see the firing pin? Yeah, you should be able to see it. That, that's what, you know, obviously releases it. Other than that, I bought it because it was cool looking. <laughs> okay, I have flashlight, I have laser mounts. You know, any mount you can think of, I've tried to acquire. So, you know, I have, it's well rounded and it's, it's just cool looking. Another thing that people should consider, just taking out once the HSP, it already started doing this. Okay, it's uh, this plastic is, uh, I don't know if it's got like, some kind of coating on it, but it's already coming off. You know, aesthetically, if that bothers you guys, just I'm giving you a heads up. That's what I'm trying to, that's what I do on this channel. I give heads up, but look at this. I can just scratch it off. It's really easy to come off. All right, and yeah, if you own the PP, but oh, this is heavy. <laughs> my scale is my scale here. I don't know. That might be an issue for some people because this, I, man, this shell is heavy as shit. Okay, shouldn't be a big deal because you know it's right there on the bottom, but it is. A, it's pretty heavy. Feels really nice. Nicely constructed. If anything, this doesn't feel cheap okay it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel like it's gonna break on me I feel like I could drop it I'm not gonna drop it. I don't want to but uh, both of them feel really well constructed so that is very nice I would say that's a nice job on that uh, this guy is 48 grams all right he, he's he's heavy you'll feel it in your hand but other than that you just put it in here and then obviously you shoot but we don't have gas in here so Right now we're gonna go, we're gonna shoot one right next to the gallery and then one behind it. I'll try to hit them, no promises. <laughs> All right guys, remember, 
There's only six shots in here, so don't expect this to be, you know, amazing or a room clear. Uh, another thing I need to comment on is they, they claim this is a grenade launcher. It's not a grenade launcher. Uh, I would say if you wanted to call something a grenade launcher, it should at, at least propel an actual, you know, like an actual one of those Nerf grenades out there for the airsoft versions. To me, this is more like a, uh, a, a master key kind of shotgun breach thing. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but it's, it's, it's shooting out six shots. I'm about seven, eight feet from here, so like I said, I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but it's, you know, it's cool. It's a fun little toy to have. Uh, I, I don't think it's, you know, definitely groundbreaking. I would say, if anything, the, the other version, the one I, I think it's like Zonac or whatever, holds like 40 plus BBs. That seems to be more uh, effective, but, you know, obviously I don't own it. Is it crooked? Oh, that's crooked. What the hell? Let's just shoot. I'm going to try to hit them, okay, guys? <laughs> Aiming with the stand is a bit weird. Okay, I think I... Here goes nothing. Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. Next one, we're going to shoot a uh, camera behind the gun and try to hit it again, but... <laughs> you could. I'm pretty sure you guys can see where it hit. Alright guys, we're using 20s now. We're gonna try to hit it, hopefully. <laughs> no promise. But this time we'll, you know, we'll actually show the the pistol or well, the shotgun. Well actually, no, that's dumb. We should actually just see how it... I said we were gonna shoot behind, but I just realized it's dumb. But maybe you guys can see this. Right, here goes nothing. God dang it. I can't aim for shit with this. Alright. You guys got to see it shoot twice. That's more than enough. Like I said, it's only it's only six shots, okay? You know, it's not like it's I think that Zonek one, whatever it's called, is like forty shots. The APS shotgun shell has a lot more. But it's still fun. It's cool. It looks good. Alright, I'll see you guys around and take it easy.